My, my name's Richard Pearson. I'm a uh, pig vet from the uh, from the UK, um, from the southwest of England, and um, uh, I work with uh, both indoors and, and outdoor producers. Mm -hmm. And um, Sam and I have known known each other uh, now for for many years um, through the the pharmaceutical industry, uh, really, and then um, more recently um, through. Uh, uh, Sam's new new work with Pharmacosmos and, and, and Iron. I represent Pharmacosmos in the UK. That's why we're here. He, he wants to progress and find out what was happening in Denmark and how units were run in Denmark and was there any differences between the units in Denmark and is there anything that we can take from Denmark into the UK to improve our systems? This was the way it was working. She would mean the 60.8 pigs a sour year. Yeah. She <laughs> but this take is, a photo of this. This is extreme, yeah. <laughs> that is extreme, mate. That, that is extreme, yeah. Uh, piglets uh, require iron supplementation um, basically uh, because they have a uh, high growth rate and um, the modern genotypes can grow extremely quickly so a piglet's born at uh, 1.5 kilos uh, grows rapidly in 28 days to 7.5 kilos so it, uh, in 28 days the piglet is six times it was when it was born um, because it's six times the size it was when it was born it requires six times as much blood as when it was born. To manufacture blood, um, it needs hemoglobin. Iron is the crucial element at the core of this uh, hemoglobin molecule, which we need and pigs need to carry oxygen around the body. So it's really essential, and they really need it. And sow's milk is deficient in iron, and so they require this extra supplementation. If they don't get it, they become anemic, they become um, sick, and they become immunocompromised. And so they can become ill, and weaning weights are not so good. De skal have det her jern her, for ellers så har de bare ikke den øde tilvækst. De har ikke den tilvækst, de skal have, hvis ikke de får får det her jerntilskud. I injektionen der er du sikker på, at hver eneste gris får hvor på andre metoder, for eksempel strøjern, mm. som vi faktisk har kørt en periode også, som vi er glade nok ved, der, der er man ikke sikker på, at alle gris opnår øh, den, den rette mængde. Mm. Øh, og derfor kan man faktisk godt være, være nødsat til, selvom man giver strøjern og, og give en gang injektion. Så har vi simpelthen bare valgt for nemhedens skyld mm. og for prisens skyld at, at give en gang injektion i stedet for. I think the main benefit of uh, injectable iron over, uh, over other forms of administration is that it's a, a more guaranteed delivery system. Um, when you uh, administer an injection of 200 milligrams, you know the pigs received 200 milligrams and you know it isn't going to uh, uh, vomit it up or um, uh, other things can, can happen. And also it's a much more guaranteed form of uh, delivery um, because uh, uh, oral absorption through the gastrointestinal tract of, of iron is, is, is quite quite poor so it's much more easily absorbed from an injectable site than it is from, uh, from uh, oral administration. I don't have any expectations. It should be in order, good quality, one-sided quality. Øh, det skal fungere selvfølgelig, grisen skal gå op til det, og så skal det være billigt. Og vi kan godt se, om det fungerer. Altså, man er ikke i tvivl, når først man har grisen ved, ved 3-4 uger gamle gris, så er man ikke i tvivl, om de har fået det jern, de skal have. Der er de selvfølgelig godt, når man begynder at tage noget foder, men hvis ikke de har fået det jern, de skal have fra start af, så er de, de er bare ikke lige så, lige så lyserøde, som de skal være. Indoors, just just do it. Don't even consider not doing it. It's uh, it's a uh, it's a very cost-effective intervention. Uh, make sure you do it cleanly. Make sure it's doing it done well. Get the basics right, and everything else looks after itself.